There is a subject that I've talked about probably a hundred times on this television channel, and that is letting go and letting God. And the reason that I talk about it so much is it's hard to do. Human mind wants to hold on to a certain idea no matter what. Human mind says it's my way or the highway type of thinking, and most of the problems in my own life have come because of that. And uh, so I'm not preaching so much as I'm sharing, and I'm sharing from my own experience that, dear God, I hope I've learned from. I hope that I'll do it better next time. The power of letting go and letting God is literally releasing and taking on the full power of God and proving the power and the glory of God through you. There is perhaps nothing that can uplift you and me more than prayer. Whether we literally get down on our knees, speak a prayer from Scripture, or silently linger in the presence of God, we feel relieved, even more so than our human mind realizes at the time, as if a weight has been taken off of us. Prayer, for me, it can be as simple as letting go of concerns, of letting go of worry, and letting God fill my soul with love and letting God fill my soul with peace, letting God fill, fill my soul with understanding, which is a big one, because so often we don't understand. That's why we want to hold on to something and want something our own way. And it's because we don't see the total picture of it. There is nothing complicated about giving over to the Holy Presence all that would become in time between us and an awareness of our Creator. Often we ask God, what are the blocks? Well, the blocks are in us, not in God. And the blocks are often our own mind cemented over with a, a concept that we refuse to let go of. Letting go and letting God is so easy that it may seem too easy. We can think that, well, we've held this belief or this idea or this way that we're going for a long, 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 long time, sometimes a lifetime. But in the moment, spiritually, we surrender. We find that we prove the power of God and the glory of the divine. And we realize, again, the power of letting go and letting God. It says in Psalms, To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O oh my God, in you I trust. This is really what letting go and letting God is doing. We're saying, God, I lift up my soul to you. I lift up my mind to you. I lift up my body, my life to you. And in you, God, I trust. Well, I pray this day, this weekend, that you can let go and let God in some area of your life so you are freed, freed from yourself. You know, the wisdom from the ages has said we're all in a jail and uh, the key to unlock the door is not outside the jail room door, it's in us. We simply have to turn the lock and a let, let God open the door and let the fresh ideas and the fresh power flow in. The power and the glory of God.